Today is a great day. This is the MR04 condenser microphone from Techers. I received this for free to review, but my opinion on it is based purely on my own experience using it. It's the MR03, but looks way better. It has the same exact internal specs. It's more aesthetically simple and sleek looking, which I greatly prefer. My one and only complaint with the MR03 was the RGB lighting, which I still got it for free, so I'm not complaining. But this just looks so much better to me. This is the raw sound quality out of the box, plugged straight into my Mac, no process, Processing, no settings changed. I have the gain control wheel set to 50% sensitivity and I'm about six inches away from the microphone. It has a cardioid pickup pattern, so it does a pretty decent job of isolating your voice. It does pick up room tone and other sounds within your recording space, but with a little bit of work and post processing, just like the MR03, you can clean up the input on this to be crystal clear and pristine. And even if you're not comfortable or just don't feel like dealing with audio in post, the raw input here is clean enough for pretty much any situation. It's the MR03, but better looking and better functionally. The MR04 has a built-in toggleable noise suppression chip. Hold down the gain control wheel for a couple seconds until the light turns green. And now I'm speaking with built-in noise suppression. No noise has been removed by me in post. This is purely the microphone itself doing all the work here. This is listed and advertised as a streaming, gaming, and podcast mic. And I agree. The noise suppression function alone makes it basically perfect for any, especially beginner creator. I especially recommend this thing for people who don't even do creative work as a profession. 100% recommend this for like people who play games or people who work remotely and do a lot of video conferencing. One of the biggest issues I see with a lot of people who are not creative professionals is that they buy a microphone with very little to no experience in using one and then they complain about the fact that the microphone picks up noise in the room, which is something all microphones are going to do. Unless they have a built-in noise suppression toggle, then you don't have to deal with processing your audio at all. If you are a beginner, then this is going to be the best case scenario for you because you just click a button and all of the noise is gone because you may have your audio sounding like this with a lot of noise going on in the room. You can pretty much hear, you know, sound everywhere. Then suddenly you just click a button and it's all gone. You can't hear any of it anymore. It's gone. It's magic. There is some artifacting on your F's and your S's. It does kind of cut them off, but I mean, to me, that's not that big of a deal because usually on video conferencing software like Discord, Zoom, Teams, Slack, anything, usually the S's are a little bit distorted and blown out and harsh anyway. So if anything, this is going to be doing you a favor because now when you're on a video call, your S's aren't going to make people's ears bleed. Just like the Zero 03, the sound quality here is insane for the price. It just sounds good. I'm usually not a fan of USB mics because the quality discrepancy between this and a normal XLR mic that you would use with an interface is just not even close. But the gap is being closed so much. It's getting hard for me to not recommend USB mic like this over an XLR mic with an interface. So yeah, if you're looking for a very budget friendly and especially beginner friendly mic, this is the way to go. There's no frills, no learning curve. You have one button with two functions, mute and noise suppression. You don't need to know anything else. You don't need to buy anything else. It just works. The only additions and modifications that I could recommend is get yourself a scissor arm desk mount. That way you're not using the little desk stand. I just personally don't like those and you'll get far less desk vibration sound in the recording if you're using a scissor arm mount. I also would recommend a good windscreen or a pop filter to put on this thing. It definitely does need it if you plan on standing kind of close to the mic like I am. If you're not going to be this close to the mic like I am, then you can pretty much get away with not using one. The sound quality on here is definitely good enough for gaming, conference calls, voiceover work, and instrument recording. If you have a decently treated acoustic space, this thing will work good enough for voiceovers and instruments. You do not need to break the bank anymore for good audio, especially if you're just doing your first audio upgrade. The voiceover on my last video on this channel was recorded using this mic, if that tells you how much I like it. So yeah, highly recommend this thing. If you want to pick it up yourself, I have a link in the description or check out my other reviews if this one's not for you. Like and subscribe or whatever bad word I'm supposed to say. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, bye.